and unfortunately, it's not quite that easy yet. But as uh, you've seen from the previous presenters, David, Brigina, and uh, Yashodeep, people are currently developing fonts uh, that do support Unicode and OpenType. And uh, these, if, if the fonts are developed in these way, in this way, then they will be able to work uh, in Microsoft's applications and in, in, in our applications. And uh, some say uh, the next version of uh, Mac Lion also supports um, these things. I haven't been able to test it myself, but uh, that's what I hear. So the, the script support in the applications depend on what we call the world-ready services. Um, and uh, this is actually built in directly in uh, the Creative Suite Middle Eastern and North African version. Um, and uh, in the, the more general versions, these services can be activated with templates and scripts. So at this point, I wanted to just give a little bit of a demonstration. So here I have uh, the CS4 version of InDesign. And I want to start a new document. This is just uh, out of the box functionality. So I come here, make my text box, and I have a file open here, which is encoded in Unicode. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste. Unfortunately, the defaults are for Arabic, so you have to switch the text direction. And here I'm going to change the font. And let's see if it actually is working. All right, uh, you can see the context forming. You can see the, the, the vowel placement um, is in the correct order. And so uh, it works. Um, I just wanted to point out one thing, uh, in the, the Middle Eastern version of, of InDesign, you have several different composers. You have these two here, uh, the World Ready Single Line and World Ready Paragraph Composer. And then you also have um, the Adobe Paragraph Composer and the Adobe Single Line Composer. To make uh, the Indian script features work, you need to choose one of these two world-ready composers. If, uh, if um, one of these others is, is chosen, then you won't get the, the correct rendering. OK, so let's go back. So that, did, that was an example of uh, built-in support. Uh, and now I wanted to show you um, an example of using a template. Um, here is uh, Photoshop. This is just the regular uh, version, the latest CS5. Um, and here I have open a template that has the World Ready Composer already uh, available to us. Let me grab a bit smaller portion of text for this. I'm just going to grab this one line. Okay, so, and then just paste it in there. And again, it just works. Um, but I don't like this font. The, the font that I've been uh, previewing uh, here is Adobe's Adobe Devon Augury. Um, which we recently released. Uh, so, um, there you go.
Now back to the presentation. So those are examples of using uh, the built-in support in the Middle Eastern app and also using a, a template um, in, in uh, excuse me, in, in our non-localized uh, form. Uh, the next level of support includes language support. And uh, from CS 5.5, Adobe apps, uh, particularly uh, InDesign, have added the functionality for spell checking and hyphenation. The way that this is by dictionaries that can be downloaded from openoffice.org. They make uh, their dictionaries freely available, and uh, that will allow you to spell check and uh, hyphenate in, in design in the latest version. And so here I'm going to do one more brief demonstration. I'm going to start from a template file that I have uh, set up here. And I'm going to uh, try importing my text uh, in a different method this time. I'm going to find my file. And the file that I've been using is the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Um, and you can find it uh, in, encoded in Unicode for uh, several different languages. Not all languages, but um, so I chose my file here. And it imports it. And uh, you find the, the, the language options here. Here it's set to uh, Marathi. Uh, because I've already installed the, the dictionaries and I can change it to uh, Hindi and uh, this will activate um, hyphenation and language spelling support. So let me just demo that by changing this to some narrow columns. And so now you can see here, you get uh, your hyphenation. So that's the current level of support in our applications, but there's still more to be done. Well, let me hide that. So what needs to be done uh, going forward? Uh, there needs to be native application support for these uh, features for Indian languages. Also, more research needs to be done into typography options that are specific for Indian scripts, such as uh, tracking options, say, of a word in Devanagari, and you don't want those to get split up by the tracking. Um, also, we need to uh, support to uh, continue to improve our support, um, but if you are interested in working with the tools that you already have, uh, you do have some options available to you. Um, if you have any questions, I would suggest that you contact me. Um, and I just want to uh, put in a little plug here. Um, I run a group on Flickr for Indic and Indian scripts. And uh, I would love to have you submit your photos of lettering or typography or anything of that sort. And uh, 
here are the references um, in case you want uh, some documentation on how to set these things up yourself. Um, and that's all I have. Thank you very much.